Noble Classic cars designed by Pininfarina for under $20,000 from Fiat's to Ferraris and from Lancia's to Cadillac's. Would-be classic car owners love to look back at market prices from a decade or more ago and lament their poor luck? Judgment or other will decult a reason for not bagging dream cars for dimes on the big dollars they command today. True, the market has seen plenty of appreciation over the past 10 years. But there are still plenty of budget-priced, affordable classic cars that often go overlooked, undesired, or just plain ignored. Today, we bring you five cars styled by legendary Italian design house Pininfarina that you, yes, you, can buy today for the sort of prices that don't require a second mortgage on the house. Nineteen sixty eight to nineteen eighty five Fiat one hundred and twenty four Spider. Before you say it, let us mention that we've heard the fix it again Tony joke about a thousand times by now, and it's aged not nearly as well as the one hundred and twenty four Spider has. Based on a shortened one hundred and twenty four sedan platform. But equipped with the same basic Lampretti twin cam four cylinder engine that dominated the World Rally Championship for 10 seasons. The Fiat 124 Spider was styled by late American Tom Yarda while he was in residency at Pine Inferina in the mid 1960s. Squint, and you might even think you're looking at a Ferrari 275 GTS. With 5-speed manual gearboxes, 4-wheel disc brakes, and a supremely engineered top that can be raised and lowered single-handed from the driver's seat. The 124 Spider was far more advanced and chic than its contemporaries from Britain. The best part is you can snag a genuine Italian-built classic sports car these days in good condition for well under $10,000. or about a third of what the new Japanese Fiat 124 Spider, aka Fiat, will run you. Nineteen seventy to nineteen ninety four Alfa Romeo Spider. Remember Dustin Hoffman in the hit nineteen sixties movie, The Graduate? If you do, you probably remember the Alfa Romeo he was driving, a nineteen sixty six Duetto Spider. Those early round tail spiders are unfortunately above our twenty thousand dollars limit in the kind of condition you'd want, but fast forward a few years and take a look at the cam tail variants with squared off rear ends. These series 2 cars ran through 1983 and retained most of the charm of the originals, with chrome rimmed ancillary gauges, deep pods for the tachometer and speedometer, and a svelte pine and farina pinned body. Later examples feature more reliable Bosch fuel injection and more modern interior and exterior treatment, if that's more your thing. There were lots of Alpha Spiders made, so set your budget at $10,000 to $15,000 and buy the best one you find. Nineteen seventy six to nineteen seventy seven launches Scorpion. So you want a twelve cylinder exotic car, but only have four cylinder money? Take a look at the fairly uncommon launches Scorpion, which was styled by Pine Inferina with design cues from the recently launched Ferrari three hundred and sixty five Berlinetta Boxer. Sold in Europe as the launch Monte Carlo, 
That name was already trademarked by Chevrolet in the US market leading to a change to Scorpion, a nod towards development work by Abarth. With a mid-mounted, 1.8-liter Lampretti twin cam engine flanked by flying buttresses, the Scorpion was the first car to be built from start to finish at Pine and Farina's plant. Just 1,801 came stateside, but a great one is still under the $20,000 mark. Nineteen eighty to nineteen eighty two Ferrari Mondial eight. Designed by Pine Inferina and built by Scaglietti, the Ferrari Mondial was a successor to the Bertoni styled three hundred and eight GT four. Both were mid engine, two door cars with seating for four, and both had transversely mounted three point zero liter V eight engines, but today the wedge shaped GT four is worth multiples of the twenty dollars. 000 you can find the decent Mondial 84. Why? Blame the tame Mondial styling and emissions regulated 200 horsepower output that barely got this family Ferrari to 60 miles per hour in under 10 seconds. Nevertheless, this is probably the most affordable Ferrari you can buy today. Just be sure to keep a little extra in the piggy bank for maintenance. Cheap to buy doesn't mean cheap to service in this instance. 1987 to 1993 Cadillac Galante. If your tastes run more towards the elegant and luxurious, you may want to consider the Cadillac Galante. This Italo American mashup saw shortened Cadillac Eldorado chassis shipped to Turin, Italy on a specially equipped Boeing 747 to receive bodies and interiors designed and built by Pine Inferina, and returned to Detroit on the same plane for final assembly. A series of front-mounted V8 engines were supplied, but power seekers will want to opt for a final year 1993 Alente for that sweet quad came North Star Mill. You should easily be able to find an excellent Alente for no more than $10,000, which is a ton of value considering their $60,000 MSRP when new.